C'est quoi dedans de La farine de maïs. Oui. Et la farine de, de manioc qu'on mélange ensemble. Ah oui, et ça c'est le, le plus populaire ici Oui, c'est ça, c'est ce qu'on mange ici. Cassava is not as well known as rice, maize, or wheat, but in the Great Lakes region of East and Central Africa, the root is what keeps most people alive. There's a whole culture around cassava. Women bring heavy bags of the root to a mill on a Sunday morning. Millers sweat in the intense heat. Homemakers pound cassava leaves for dinner. Baudouin Mupwala, an FAO agronomist working in cassava, Sounds like a celebrity chef as he enthuses about the merits of the humble root. It can be eaten cooked or raw, the leaves as a vegetable, and the waste distilled into alcohol. I tasted the cooked leaves, and they were delicious. Cassava in the region has been dying a slow death. One farmer near Calame in the Democratic Republic of Congo told me that cassava mosaic disease spread through his fields over a period of years until his yield had fallen by 80%, and he has a wife and 13 children to feed. During a mission to the region, I saw an amazing counterattack against the mosaic disease. Field by field, the farmers of East and Central Africa are planting and harvesting a new disease-resistant variety. It even yields more cassava per plant, like this monster. The solution was born in African labs. A disease-resistant variety was bred, then cloned, so the miraculous genetics were exactly duplicated. The clones were multiplied in nurseries, like this beautiful spread in Congo, near Lake Tanganyika. Cassava is a majestic plant, and when a cutting is placed in the ground, it will sprout and grow a new plant. Ten meters of cuttings are enough for a typical 20 by 20 meter home plot. You can't try to defeat a plant disease in one country at a time. Its fields would just become reinfected from a neighboring country. So the counterattack was launched simultaneously in Democratic Republic of Congo, Burundi, Rwanda, and Uganda. This is no mean feat in what is essentially a war zone. But UN agencies are considered neutral, and under FAO's auspices, and the help of donors and NGOs, the rollout of the new variety was coordinated across borders. Enough cuttings were produced at nurseries in the four countries for 33,000 farms, which each passed on cuttings from their new crop to 10 neighboring farms. Ernest Unduimana is a young farmer in northwest Burundi. His story is typical. When fighting erupted in 1993, Gunman came and stole the family cattle, killing his father. After the war, he tried to start again, planting two hectares of cassava. This time, the mosaic disease wiped him out. Now he has put disease-free cuttings in the ground and is hoping for the best. If he succeeds, he's going to use his profits to get married. By late 2008, over one and a half million men, women, and children had been reached by the cassava program. That's a sweet success for all concerned.